Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and we're taking a look and a listen to Waldorf's new StrikeFet string synthesizer. While the StrikeFet specializes in string sounds, let's get one thing clear, no one is going to mistake this thing for a real string section. And of course, that's not what it's designed for. Instead, with the StrikeFet, Waldorf is trying to bring back the sounds of legendary string synthesizers from the 70s and 80s. Sounds that graced albums by artists like Pink Floyd, Jean-Michel Jarre, and Tangerine Dream, as well as the soundtracks to many romantic movies of that era. The Strike Fed is housed in the same lightweight black tabletop box that Waldorf has used for the Rocket synth. Unlike the Rocket, though, the volume knob works for the stereo out and not just the headphone out, yay. Power is supplied from your computer via the USB port, although a USB-AC adapter is included, and then you can use the 5-pin DIN MIDI input to play it. 12 preset locations are available. Let's listen to a couple of the presets so you can hear how it sounds. Sound sculpting is done on the face plate. There are basically two sections, the string side and the solo side, and a balance knob to blend the two. Starting on the string side, you've got six different tones to work with, ranging from violin to choir. On the left side of the dial, you're basically morphing between sounds, while on the right, past 12 o'clock, you're layering the cello, brass, organ, and choir sounds to varying degrees. The octave switch on the left lets you play the bass octave, an octave higher, or you can layer both octaves. There's a knob for the attack, it's called crescendo here, and another for the release. Critical to the sound of the strike fet is the ensemble effect, which is basically three modulating and phase shifting delays designed to emulate a classic string ensemble effect, a chorus effect, or a combination of both if you want maximum stereo action. On the right side, you get the solo section. Five different tones are available here to morph between with using the dial. Two envelope settings are available, one sustains, the other does not, meaning this knob varies between decay and release, and is a separate knob for attack. The solo sounds can be layered with the strings across the upper or lower half of the keyboard, or across the entire range. The tremolo knob controls the depth of the effect, and then as you keep turning right, the speed of the tremolo increases. The only other remaining control is the effect section. Animate modulates only the string section with an LFO, and the depth knob controls the depth and rate. The phaser and reverb effects work on both sections. On the phaser, the depth knob controls not only the amount of the effect, but also the speed of the phaser and the amount of its feedback. While on the reverb effect, the depth knob controls not only the depth of the reverb, but also the size and dampening of the room. Now with both of these, it's not an exact science. You're basically dialing in settings that get increasingly intense as you move to the right, with settings that Waldorf decided sounded pleasing and useful, and they do. One thing to note is that you can have all three effects running at once. Just switch between effects and adjust the depth. The Strike Fet is not for everyone. Its design is inherently limited, but what it does, it does very well, delivering some really fat sounds. So if you've been looking to recreate those classic string synths from the 70s and 80s, 
the strike fit will definitely take you there. I'm Rob from BH, and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, BH has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.